Hello and welcome to part three of this webinar uh, that explains a little bit about something I call anytime real-time learning that can happen in both face-to-face -face and virtual classrooms. My name is Julie Coiro. I'm a professor at the School of Education uh, in, at the University of Rhode Island, which is in the United States. And for those of you just joining us, again, the link is here that you can visit and follow along in all parts of the slides or you can access the information in those slides with the QR code. So in this third part and final part of the webinar, I wanted to focus a little bit more on um, uh, the, the goal of the, the webinar series that you're attending, from my understanding, is to really learn a little bit more about digital tools and special features that can be useful for including all populations, especially special populations of learners, um, to make sure that we're um, including everyone in the same opportunities for any time and real-time learning. And again, third time, any time is learning together at different times and real-time is learning together at the same time, whether or not it happens in digital or face-to-face uh, -face kinds of experiences. So the links here, obviously we don't have enough time to talk about all of them. But these, each of these are hyperlinked to teacher examples and short tutorials that tell you a little bit more about these different tools that all have particularly special features. Today though, for this webinar, I wanted to call your attention to two in particular. One is called Wakelet and the other is called Immersive Reader. This link leads you to an article that talks about how these two digital tools work together and I'm going to show you how you can use Wakelet and Immersive Reader to really do some pretty powerful things uh, to promote access for your students. So in a nutshell, Wakelet is a curation tool that you can use to basically click and drag um, resources that you have found either online or you could create PDFs of things and put them online and pull them into this Wakelet space to curate intentionally designed learning units for your learners. And typically it's at this point where teachers say well that would be great but most of the things that I want my students to access are too hard for them to read or it's in a different language or they really just aren't able to engage as much as I'd like. And so I want to show you how Immersive Reader, which is woven into this Wakelet Your Curation tool, reads aloud all of the content that you've created or that's online that you've collected and it does so much more. So just to kind of give you an overview before, and I know this is teeny tiny, um, but before I bring you into the real Wakelet, I just want you to see this is a screenshot of eight or nine different resources that I've collected under a, 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 a space that I called Hawks from babies to adulthood. And so um, what I want you to notice, and I put a screenshot here is, we're going to get to the Wakelet in just a second, but when you click on each of these, up in the upper right corner, there's a little tool that pops up, and you can select Read Mode, and that's what's going to make the, the, the tools that you've pulled together in Wakelet much more accessible for your students. So I'm going to click on this link and show you what I mean, and it's going to load here. So this is the Wakelet that I've designed, and again, it just has these resources. If, if I wanted to add another one, I just type in the URL. It automatically adds it to the space. And so for right now, I want you to notice that this article here, okay, and over here, up in the upper right corner, I'm going to click on Read Mode. So when I get to that, the first thing it does is it takes and it puts all of the text into one column that's very, very readable and it takes away all the advertising. And if you don't believe me, if we clicked on visit the original website, this is the original website. 
And so you can see there's lots of ads and all kinds of things that might be distracting to students. So the first thing, by simply putting any website into Wakelet and clicking on read mode, it makes the text and it gets rid of all the advertising. So now notice now I'm going to click on Immersive Reader. And that's the tool that's woven in. And I want you to see now what happens is it gives me the options to change the text size to make it bigger or smaller. I could increase the spacing or make it less space. I could change the font and I could change the theme and so on. And sometimes for some visually impaired students, one color works a little bit better than the other. Okay, but here's what's really interesting is all I've done is clicked on Immersive Reader and all of a sudden it will read the text aloud to me. Hawks belong to the category of birds known as raptors, birds of prey. Birds of prey have been revered and despised since the beginning of time. And it follows along. So you might think, well, that's really wonderful, but my students don't speak English. They speak and read in German. And so if you go over to the reading preferences, you can choose a language and we're going to scroll down. And I know my picture here is in front of this, but I'm going to scroll down and select German. And I'm going to collect, click on the whole document and lo and behold, it turns it into German and then it reads it in German. Now my speakers have a, a, a little bit of a sound issue, so I apologize for the static, but it normally sounds wonderful. And so the other thing that can happen here is you can also uh, put parts of speech, you can label different things, you can break things into syllables, um, and you can also use pictures uh, depending on the word. And so it takes the word in your language and then it also translates it into a second language. And there's a picture dictionary for students. And so I'm going to bring you back now to our slides just to kind of recap what Immersive Reader does is it gives you these different menu options to customize the same website that wasn't designed for your learner in ways that work for you. And this is just a screenshot to let you see how you could do this in three or four different languages. Um, and so these are customized now so Wakelet is a place for you to pull in, gather online resources, or create your own, and then it reads it aloud and does all these other things for you. So I want you to just think and imagine what resources you could collect and make more accessible for your students simply by clicking and dragging them into Wakelet, selecting the read mode for the resource, and using the features of Immersive Reader. And so the last little piece of this part of the uh, webinar is to help you um, per get some access to other age-appropriate engaging reading material and digital tools for students. So I put four here. The first is a website called Unite for Literacy. And when you come over here, this many, 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 many books that are generated by children, for children, but you can see here that you can sort the languages, and again, there's about 50 different languages of which German is one, and so each of these reading resources now could be available to you in a bilingual kind of a space, and it reads it out loud for you in English, or it reads it out loud in Dutch. I'm sorry, in German. So I'm going to come back here. So Unite for Literacy is one website, 
There's a Symbaloo here that I have collected um, that you can click on and uh, this is just a different way to navigate and the blue resources are all digital texts and the pink resources are all digital tools that you can start to pull together, bring in the resources that work for you into Wakelet and then use Immersive Reader. The other two that I'll mention, one is called Wonderopolis, over 2,000 wonders of the day that keep growing that are specifically designed for children to explore and deepen and engage them in inquiry. And again, they're written in English, but you can pull them into Wakelet and Immersive Reader and change the language to any language. And then also use it to teach reading and grammar. And there's also the Kids Should See This compilation of over 5,000 kid-friendly videos. So between words and images and videos, lots and lots of age-appropriate material for you to start to think about the typical lessons that you teach. So again, I mentioned in the second part of this webinar, but this link will lead you to many, many examples of how teachers have designed any time in real-time learning in the primary grades, in the middle school, and the high school. So I want to end you with a few thoughts. One, to keep talking with your colleagues about how you can envision any time in real-time learning from a teaching and learning perspective, and also remember that there's lots of ways that you can build um, socio-emotional kinds of uh, classroom cultural elements into your digital spaces. Again, we're not, com we're not having a conversation today. This is more of an anytime learning, but certainly we could all join in Zoom one day um, and do some socio-emotional check-ins and how do we get that happening with our students. A couple of more tools if you really want to be overwhelmed. Here's an example of, again, they use asynchronous and synchronous, but there are many, many, many tools that go with anytime and real-time learning. And so just substitute those two words and think about the tools. This is part of the Digital Promise website that is designed in the United States to address uh, inclusive education. And finally, I wanted to leave you with some other learning opportunities. Um, there's a free presentation and recording over a, almost an hour um, where I talked with um, both teachers and, and folks in business to think about ways of staying connected and engaged in this kind of time framework. And a, a large wakelet full of resources that are organized for you so that you can keep continuing to explore anytime and then possibly bring them to the classrooms and the teachers that you work with real time to have your own conversations. So thank you very much um, and I look forward to hopefully meeting you one day and if not um, I hope that you stay inspired, engaged, connected in ways that you're willing to share with other people. Thank you.